Hi guys, Anton here from Anton's Mindstorms Hacks. In this video, I'm showing you um, how I connected um, several hubs, uh, Spike Prime hubs and Robot Inventor hubs. I connected them over Bluetooth to work together as a remote control and a car. Um, so they all work within their own firmware um, and the Bluetooth code is just interchangeable. So I've built a hot rod car and a spike prime tank and um, I'm going to remote control the hot rod car with the spike prime steering wheel um, and I'm going to remote control the hot rod car with the robot inventor um, car uh, transmitter here and I'm also going to remote control the spike prime tank with the steering wheel and um, and the spy prime tank with the uh, remote control transmitter so everything is interchangeable <laughs> that's a lot of talking uh, let's uh, see how that work um, remember to subscribe I, um, I really appreciate that um, to get your subscription and um, you'll be notified of many new remote control experiments and other advanced uh, hacking stuff with lego mindstorms there we go here you see the connection process where um, you run the program on the transmitter and it connects to a device and it um, receives the logo and now you can start driving um, it works like a normal car transmitter um, you might have one from a regular RC car it's got a steering wheel on the side and a trigger to go backward and forward the little um, button there on the bottom is to trim the steering wheel so sometimes the steering wheels aren't properly aligned the car isn't driving straight and the buttons are connected to sound effects <laughs> they aren't really necessary but they're just uh, showing how the um, you can use every button on the transmitter here um, to use on your robot um, everything is programmed in Python um, and all Python code is on github and on my website I'll put uh, links in the description below um, so it's time for a switch let's switch out the car for a tank and use the same transmitter the same transmitter program but just a different car robot and um, do the same thing again um, you see the connection process again the logo of this tank is is an s so you see it shows an s both on the robot and the transmitter um, then you know you're connected to the right robot and this robot drives just the same i mean with a trigger and uh, the steering wheel of course um, how the steering commands are translated into motor power is different for a tank and a normal car um, but that's all in the code um, the cool thing is that because this is Python, this is uh, very much real time. This is much faster and uh, much snappier than the remote control that you're uh, maybe used to from the Mindstorms uh, software. Um, plus, you can do way more complex robots if you have access to Python. Time for another um, switch here. Now, this time we're leaving the robot in place and we're switching out the transmitter let's uh, we're going for the steering wheel um, the python program inside the steering wheel is a bit different because instead of a, a motor position for the steering wheel we have to read out the um, acceleration or the gyro so we have to figure out what is down in order to figure out how far uh, the user has turned the steering wheel and um, this works uh, pretty neatly as you can see it's just like a normal car steering wheel except that it's not connected to the wheels directly but via Bluetooth and the triggers on the back um, of this steering wheel the flappy paddles so to say control the throttle the right one makes the car go forward and the left one makes the car go uh, backward and then finally uh, the last combination is the steering wheel with the hot rod again again same program on the hot rod same program on the steering wheel and because the um, both robots are just exchanging values 
these uh, programs keep working you can see there is a different logo after connecting to the hot rod um, it's the square with the right dot and the steering wheel here functions perfectly um, we can drive around uh, slow and fast because the flappy pedals on the back are pressure sensitive so the more you pull them in the faster the car goes um, now this combination of hubs and robots opens a lot of possibilities for your own inventions um, if you have a lot you can also um, make a car race maybe with a friend I think that would be nice to uh, race cars and have uh, two hubs each or um, uh, make your own uh, fighting robots and uh, sentry droids wouldn't that be really cool so you can program this from within the spike prime software and this from within the mindstorm software if you want of course you can also do everything from within the mindstorm software um, so you can reflash this hub uh, with Mindstorm's software. The advantage there is that um, you don't have to switch between programs and somehow, on at least on my Mac here, um, if I have both the Spike Prime and the Mindstorm software open, it doesn't recognize the hubs very well over Bluetooth anyway. Now the way this works is that um, this uh, transmitter acts as a Bluetooth central. This uh, um, car device acts as a Bluetooth peripheral, and um, they um, this one, the central here, scans for peripherals. If it finds one with the right name, um, I chose the name robot. So if it finds a peripheral called robot, um, it connects, and then um, both set up a virtual COM port. And so they send over serial data and um, all the states of all the trigger positions are encoded in some serial byte uh, array and decoded on the other side and then the motors are set accordingly. Um, this is real simple uh, and the same protocol also works in uh, an app. So I've also released a, an Android app that speaks the same protocol so you could replace this one with an Android app and do the same remote control thing. I've written a full blog article with a complete how-to. Um, I'll link in the description. Um, remember to also subscribe for more updates and more tutorials about the remote control. Thanks for watching, bye bye. <laughs>